Welcome back. It's officially day four of the reading rush. I'm already starting to lose track of the days. I am feeling more refreshed than I was yesterday from yesterday's vlog, so yay to that. Let's go ahead and get our plan together for day four. Day four, we are going to, I think I want to take a walk this evening. I looked at the forecast and it's supposed to be raining for the next couple of days and I want to get all my time outside that I can get. So I'm going to try to take a walk this evening. I am going to try and get an audiobook of the guest list and read some more of the guest list while I'm at work. So I only have it in the physical form right now and I need it in at least two formats so I can really dig into it. What else are we doing today? Oh, and I'm thinking about taking a bath tonight to a boat. Y'all, my bubble bath routine is unmatched. Unmatched, unmatched. And then I'm also thinking about watching a little bit of Hamilton because that's like my new obsession in life. So I think that's what's on the agenda today. We might do another one of the challenges. I found out what the other challenge was, which is the bookish memory challenge. So we're going to do that. Honestly, the way that this work week is going, the next time you see me, it's probably gonna be hours from now. I'm excited about day four. And we're technically moving into the second half of the readathon. So happy reading. And I will see y'all in the next clip. It's a little after seven-ish and I'm getting ready to take a walk around the neighborhood. I just wanted to get out and get some fresh air outside of just going to work. And then when I get back, I'm going to try to see if they have the audiobook for the guest list available because I listened to a preview of it. Why does this look so yellow? Okay, just ignore the lighting, but I listened to a preview of it and it's a full cast audiobook. So I'm going to see if I can find it somewhere so I can listen to that. I'm really excited about it. That's what I'm about to do now before I really settle in for the evening. Taking a little break on the bench. <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself <laughs> over there? Y'all, yeah. it looks like it can rain any second. Mm -hmm. I thought about listening to like my audiobook while I was watching, walking, but like I'm too paranoid. I need to know exactly what's going on. <laughs> mm -hmm. I need to know exactly what's happening. So I always have one end by the way. Oh, you have one end? Oh, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <sighs> but yes, y'all, just enjoying a little relaxing break. So my library has the audiobook and the ebook for the guest list. Watch when I look to see what place I would be on hold. 35 copies are in use and there are still 157 people waiting. If you place a hold on this title, it should be ready to borrow in 10 weeks. So that's if I want the ebook. And then the audiobook is no better. The audiobook has 22 copies in use and 14 people waiting in total. So if I want to borrow that one, it would be 11 weeks. My library has Libby and that's what I just showed y'all. So I just checked on Libby. They don't have it, but then they also have Hoopla through my library. They don't have it. And then I have a Scribd subscription. It's not going to be available until the 26th because I've already like used up all my new releases or what have you. So they don't have it and I need to finish this book. I'm thinking about doing a trial on Audible and then listening to the guest list and then just canceling because I don't need another book subscription but I also want to listen to this audiobook right now. When y'all try to get stuff from y'all library, how long is the wait? My library is amazing. I love my library so much. I will advocate for them forever and ever. But the way this pandemic got the ebooks and audiobooks looking, struggle. Horrendous. So yeah, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. So after quick deliberation, I've realized that my only option is to get this book on Audible. So I'm just going to end up doing that. But I know I mentioned that I was going to do another one of the reading challenges, not reading challenges, one of the video challenges today. And the other one was to share one of my favorite bookish memories. 
Fun fact, I actually did an entire video on all of my favorite bookish memories a couple years ago on this channel. Of course the memories have grown since then but I love that video so much because I have a lot of great, I have a lot of great book related memories. I'm a lifelong reader so there's a lot I can look back on. I will try to link that video down below. It's one of my older videos but it just warms my heart every time. I watch it. So the memory that I want to talk about today is my top favorite bookish memory and I mentioned it in that video as well and that is the summer reading programs that my dad used to put together when I was younger. When I was growing up my dad the library always has like their own summer reading programs where you have to read a certain number of books or page count or what have you and then you get like these little prizes but every single summer my dad would curate his own summer reading program. It used to be so fun. He would curate all of the prizes and everything that we got to go with exactly what we were into. Like me, I was always into music. I hated washing the dishes and stuff. So one of my answers might be like to get like a CD or whatever. No dishwashing for a week. Then we'd have like little check-ins. We would play different little games. Like, and the thing is he came up with a brand new one every year. So every year would be something different. Like, he would print out these word documents where he's gone and found clip art and everything and then he would change up the prizes to fit us like the older that we got and I I loved it he did that for the majority of my life and even if I didn't know what I was doing for the summer ever I knew for a fact I was gonna be reading what's so crazy is everyone in my family reads but I would probably say like my dad is the least considered like the reader but he used to love putting those little summer reading challenges and stuff together. That was like my readathon before readathon. That was my reading rush. That is definitely my top favorite bookish memories growing up. It tops anything else. For the rest of the night, what I'm about to do is download this audiobook and take me a long hot bath. It is really late now. I don't know if I will be out of the bath before 12 o'clock. I'm going to insert an old clip of what my bath like setup looks like because y'all I get real serious about my bath time oh I'm telling y'all but this is basically what I do so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that and okay really quickly before I hop in and I'm currently wearing a face mask a bonnet and a robe so y'all just not gonna see me in this clip but this is my favorite time to read I am getting ready to take my bubble bath and I do this once a week. I have my spring and pricking candle burning, some other candles, but yes, y'all, I have my book down here. Where is it? Oh, right here. So yeah, I'm going to be reading. Hopefully I can finish that book, but I just like to sit in the tub and relax and read. And this is like how I start my week. So I usually do this on Sunday nights, but since I was off today from work, I'm doing it on Monday night. So yeah, hopefully we have a great week of reading and I will see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time for me to relax. Bye.